Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. I'm wearing my Johnny Cash shirt. Man, man in black. So we're going to talk about some men in black. Um, I saw that the sit down true crime, a history true crime podcast, a, a true crime history podcast, um, did a, a top 15 power rankings of the New York Mafia. Uh, they did uh, non-bosses. So I'm going to piggyback off that. God forbid I don't give them credit. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to do a top 20, including bosses, top 20 power rankings in the New York Mafia five families right now, including bosses, but not including people that are locked up. So Vic Amuso, who's the official boss of the Lucases, is not on this list because he's locked up. And uh, Skinny, Skinny Teddy Persico, who is the boss and waiting for the Columbos is also not on this list. So I'm going to start uh, from 20 and go up to one and knock these things out. Uh, number 20, I got Mickey Boy Paradiso, the either current uh, or former consigliere of the Gambinos, old school Gotti guy, uh, holding things down at the 20 spot. Number 19, uh, Anthony Bruto Indelicato, uh, according to our reporting, the new consigliere of the Bonanno crime family, he's as OG as you get. He was a trigger man in the uh, Carmine Galante assassination back in 1979. He's had a bit of a roller coaster uh, ride in his mafia career, but he is on the upswing right now. Uh, number 18, Gene Gotti could be the new consigliere of the Gambinos, could be acting consigliere or could just be a uh, a very valued advisor to the Sicilians that are running the Gambinos. Number 17, the sleeper of all sleepers right now in the five families, in my opinion, Ali Shades uh, from the West Side. He's 86, but I'm told that uh, Barney and Ernie still take a lot of counsel from him. Uh, number 16, Benji the Claw Castellazzo, underboss of the Columbos, just came out of prison. He's old school. I believe he's 86 or ish. Uh, then we get into uh, Johnny Joe Spirito Sr., uh, underboss of the Bananos, acting boss the last couple of years, really, or sorry, last a year, um, has really shown his merit as a leader, uh, really kind of tamp him and uh, Mikey uh, really tamped down tensions in the Bananos. And a, a lot of that could be uh, tied to Johnny Joe's leadership with Mikey uh, spending the year of 2024. In prison uh mikey rangusa mikey mickey ragusa is next sorry some people call him mikey some people call him mickey uh acting underboss of the genovese we're moving towards the top 10 right now um number 13 is uh pasquale falsetti uncle patty uh he is the acting consigliere of the genovese right now boss material for both those guys number 11 and uh, number 12 and 11 are both Lucchese guys. Uh, OG Boat Barada in his 80s has come back into the fold in the administration. With the Lucchese, we were the first to report that he was a player again in 23. And then John Panisi reported that he's consigliere uh, this past uh, year. Uh, underboss of the Lucchese, allegedly Frankie Bones. Um, he's in at number... 11, and now we're going to go into the top 10. I got two guys tied at 10. So my two uh, individuals that are tied at 10, we got Big Mike DeSantis from the Lucchese, uh acting boss who's passing the reins um, allegedly onto uh, Georgie Neck with the blessing of Vic M uh, Musso behind, the bar, uh, behind bars, kind of taking a step back going into retirement. Uh, also tied at number 10 with him, Patsy. Perello, the godfather of Arthur Avenue in the Bronx, the uh, official consigliere of the Genovese right now. Number nine, Danny Pagano, street boss, you know, the consummate OG, the consummate uh, mafia diplomat, uh, just the definition of class when it comes to kind of a gentleman gangster. He is the street boss of the Genovese, said to be retiring at the end of this year, and we'll see who's transitioning into that spot. Um, number eight. Lenny the Conductor, Lenny Di Maria, the uh, beloved underboss of the Gambinos, somebody that is as connected and uh, well-liked as anybody in the five families and is the uh, number two to uh, Lorenzo in Italian, D 
Dom and the Gambinos. Uh, going to number seven, Georgie Neck Zapola, the um, either boss uh, in training or acting boss right now of the Lucchese, taking the uh, mantle of power from um, Big Mike DeSantis. All this again uh, with the blessing of Vic, little Vic behind bars. But Georgie Neck right now uh, is the for all intents and purposes, the top power on the street um, with the Lucchese's uh, being transitioned into that role by Big Mike. Number six, Ernie Muscarella, the, you know, by far the most powerful and respected non-boss on this list. He's the underboss of the Genovese. Then we get into our top five. Number five, little Rob D'Onofrio, who's really, uh, you know, met the moment as uh, acting boss of the Columbos, keeping the seat warm for Skinny Teddy when he gets out in a couple years. But uh, Little Rob was kind of a sleeper. Not a lot of people were thinking about him as boss material. I know that, uh, I believe it's La Cosa Nostra News, um, predicted this in 2018. Capace, Jerry over at Gangland News, confirmed it um, last year. And little Rob, uh, again, a guy that uh, just low-key, mild-mannered, stickler for the rules, um, and, you know, is, is stabilized a once uh, pretty raucous crime family. Number four, Mikey Mancuso, Mikey the Nose, really coming into his own as a Don. I know he's been a Don for 10 years as an official Don, but uh, first couple years out of the box when he got out of prison, uh, it was rough. It was rocky, and now, uh, to his credit, he's really pulled back and has wanted to make peace with his rivals in the Brooklyn faction, and I think that's happening, and I think that's a tribute to the maturity that uh, Mancuso's um, displayed over the last year, year and a half, going away, and instead of using his absence on the street to exact revenge and be able to kind of say, well, I was away, um, he did the opposite, brought uh, allegedly brought Bruno Indelicato into the administration to appease the Brooklyn guys uh, and assign Johnny Joe to just keep, you know, keep her uh, focused on on things out in front, not things behind us. Uh, keep the, the steering wheel moving forward and um, try to you know get as much water under the bridge as possible and, you know, get back some of the respect that that family lost with uh, the craziness with the. Uh, Funeral parlor brawl and uh, some of the shootings that happened after that. Uh, number three, and it's I know it's it's uh, a little bit strange. My my three and two because uh, my two is an acting boss and my three is a real boss. But uh, just kind of how the power is flowing right now. Uh, Italian Dom Shafalu, who is the official boss of the Gambinos, I, I got at number three and I got his acting boss Lorenzo Manino at two. He's the undisputed second most powerful Don right now uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, Lorenzo Menino is. Um, but in reality, the uh, Italian Don Sheffalu is kind of the, the Wizard of Oz behind Lorenzo. And then finally, the number one spot, the undisputed boss of bosses in New York City, Barney Belomo. This guy is the Michael Jordan, the LeBron James of this thing of ours or of theirs in New York City. Nobody does it at the level that Barney does it. Uh, about 67 years old, handpicked by the chin. Um, he, he's, he's vapors, man. It's hard to keep track on this guy. There's like three or four pictures um, out there of him in, in recent times. If that, uh, the definition of stealth, definition of respect. And uh, you know, he's the most powerful mafia godfather right now in North America. So that's our top 20. You know, hit us with some comments and, and tell us what you think. What some, you know, some uh, things, maybe guys that we got too high, guys that we got too low, guys that we haven't, uh, that we didn't put in there. This, this list is very fluid. As I said, I, I reported this when I posted this list on the gangster report, uh, you know, various different factors and elements go into it. It can change really any minute. Uh, a guy like Joe Waverly could easily, you know, a Colombo um, former administrator, could still be an administrator uh, now, uh, is not on this list, but very easily could be just an example of how these things kind of 
move in real time. The Columbos have the least amount of people on this list. They only got two, but I think that will change um, in the coming years when, when Teddy, Skinny Teddy gets on the street and uh, starts his uh, his reign as, as the standard bearer for that Persico Mafia dynasty. Please like, subscribe, share, spread the word about the OG pod. Go to our YouTube as well as our Patreon uh, members only page where uh, we're breaking down things kind of at a more granular level, more analytical, less newsy. Um, thank you for Ben behind the glass. I hope you guys like these lists. We might start doing some of these lists and rankings a little bit more. OG pod, Scott Bernstein, I'm out. Thank you.